I've been away for a while, but here is an information-packed tutorial all about the floating elements. What's interesting about the floating elements is it is stuffed in the templates section over here. Here's my mouse pointer. One would think that it would be a template and that it would be like listed in there, like with all of the saved templates, but alas, it's not. Floating elements is its own thing. It's its own entity. So let's take a look at the floating elements. Here is the floating elements page. I've already created one, but we're going to go through it together and create one together. Let's just go up here and add new floating element. So I'm going to click that and it says, do you want a button or do you want a floating bar? We're going to do the floating bar and it gives it a name. So we're just going to call it bar one and we're going to create it. When creating a template, one would think that this is just like step number one. You can use one of these templates if you want to, or as you know, with Elementor and templates. Now this is a floating bar and a floating button. If you come over here and you do what you do normally with templates, you would close this and you would go to the point where you want to customize and create it yourself. Alas, Elementor does not give you that option. So if you close this window, looky, looky, there are no elements over here to build anything. There's no elements to create. So you cannot customize this yourself. I hope the day comes that we can, but alas, no, we can't. So I'm going to hit the publish button and I'm just going to hit save and close. But alas, we're still stuck on this page. What do we do? Well, we have to go back out to exit to WordPress. Mm-hmm. And then we have to go back to templates. And so there's bar one. So let's now edit this item. So we're going to edit the floating bar. Okay. So we're back. We have to choose something. Okay. It doesn't matter. Boys and girls, it doesn't matter. You can have the little scrolly thing along the top if that's what you want. If you want it at the bottom, that's fine. If you want it at the top and you want a custom code for some sort of coupon code, mm, I haven't had that been able to work yet. So we'll just pick one and we'll go with it. Okay. And it gives us a preview. Okay. Now I can't give you whether or not that copy paste thing is going to work, but we'll hit insert anyway. And so whatever template you've got going on, it's going to shove it all the way up to the top of the page. Can you change that? And you're like, mm, I changed my mind. I want it at the bottom. Yes, you can. Is it advanced? Mm, yes, right here under layout advanced. So there, yes, you can force it to the bottom. You can choose it at the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to hit sticky. Yes. And I'm going to hit publish because you notice we got this space up here. I want to know if it fixes that. Okay. Add condition. Uh, we're just going to put it on a singular site. What single page do we want? We want the home page. And there it is. And we're going to hit save and close. So now if I go back to my dashboard and I go to pages, all pages, open in a new tab and we go here and we go find our home page and we view right click in a new tab, our home page. Okay. Well, this is the old one. And so we've got two of them and it floats above everything. That's great. Okay. So I've got, I, this is the previous one that I put on here and it floats too. And it covers, cover stuff up and it automatically pushes things down in order for it to fit there. So that's important too. So you want to edit the bar, like make it green, like the one at the top. Okay. So let's go and edit bar number one. And it's, you know, pretty much basic with all of the other ways you can change items. Let's go to the floating bar. We want the coupon banner and uh, let's go to the style floating bar in order to get to change the color. You have to go to style and floating bar and background color is one of them. So we're going to, um, oops, I clicked the wrong thing. I want to choose one of my accent colors. 
We'll just go there and um, birthday celebration. Okay, let's go to the announcement. We'll change the color of the birthday cake and the coupon also is going to be a darker green and the border color is going to be a darker green. Okay, that's great. Wonderful. And we're going to hit publish. All right. So when we go back and hit refresh, it should change colors. That's kind of annoying and it's always at the bottom, but if you don't want it, you can close this one. Oh, I need to set the link for that. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go to templates and the floating elements. Let's go edit with Elementor. I wanted to see if this worked. The view positions, let's click on that. And that's the button. Um, and we want positions, P O positions. There we go. That's the page. We're going to hit publish. Good, good, good. And we're going to go back to the page. We're going to hit refresh. And we're going to click on view positions and there's the positions. Yes. If you would like to goosey gander, you just hit the pause button and read these wonderful tech support, um, you know, things you have fun with that, but yes, the button works and goes to all the positions. You're going to have fun with that. Hit that pause button and read those descriptions. <laughs> But at any rate, that's pretty much the floating elements we can go through and you get lost and you have to exit to WordPress. When you get in one of those floating elements that's not a floating element, we'll add a new one. Uh, we'll do the floating buttons this time. Let's just say buttons one and we'll create the floating element. Again, you can't hit the X and try to do anything customized. You have to choose something on the screen. Don't worry about whether it looks good or not. You're going to be able to change the colors and some of the items. Let's hope that we can move these from the left to the right side of the screen. There it is. And this is the first time I've used that. Go to the style, contact buttons. I see nothing that says allow me to put it to the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen. Ah, here we are, horizontal position. There we go. And the center, lovely. Uh-huh, and we can put it at the top. Oh, no, I don't think you want to do that. Let's go left over here. Mm, no, nope. we're going to put it at the bottom of the page. All right, and let me go into the style, and let's see here. The menu buttons. Ooh, aren't they pretty? Okay, the icon, the background color, default. Contact buttons, icon color. Let's choose a green color and the background color is going to be white. Okay. Mm, that's just easy peasy. And then we need the hover color. The icon color is going to be darker green when you hover over it lovely. That's perfect. Okay. That works for me. So that's pretty much the easy peasy, how you do the buttons to content. Okay. WhatsApp. Okay. You can change the name. Um, the tooltip, I would obviously put the same thing that's in there. Um, you can put a number, messenger. So the icon comes with the, okay, got it. All right. First time using this, but I kind of do that so that you know that I'm lost along with you. Um, so yeah, you only get these things. So let's go messenger. I mean, who uses messenger? Oh, I'm thinking of MS Messenger, you know, back in the day in the 80s and 90s, but we're talking about FB Messenger. So have fun with the floating elements.